Hey YouTube, it's Green Rumor. Here's a situation where I've got a hard drive. It's a terabyte drive. And after a period of time, I don't know what has corrupted it, but it will not detect. So if I plug it in to the laptop, hang on a second, plug this in. It shows up as not accessible, as you can see here. Access denied. So I've gone, done some research to try and figure out how to make it work. And uh, if you go into you know, your PC, you can see your hard drives. They all have this uh, indicator underneath that shows how much is uh, space is left in them. But the one that doesn't show up Drive E doesn't have that. You can click on it. It just shows no access. So not accessible. And that's frustrating. So uh, I've tried all the different methods. I've gone into um, control panel and gone to administrative tools and uh, pulled up the, um, the disk management uh, interface and picked storage and gone in and you can see the drive there but you can't access it from that location but you can run a check disk and uh, sometimes that will help and that will fix some of the issues and people will have access um, there's another way to do it a similar way which would be to go to command prompt and uh, pull up a command prompt uh, just by typing CMD and then right clicking and opening running it as administrator and you can go in here as administrator and you can uh, do a check disk CHK DSK and run do a space and a forward slash the drive letter or F do F space drive letter which is E colon I believe that's it and then hit enter and it checks the disk as you can see it's going through a parameter check and uh, fit it it uh, fixes with the F. It fixes any issues. Sorry, I, I just woke up, so I'm a little tired. But anyway, uh, as you can see, that did not resolve my problem. It's still inaccessible. So I downloaded Ease Us, E A S E U S, which is a partition manager. And in partition, in Ease Us, this is the program right here. Uh, you can open it up. You can open up Ease Us Partition Master. And let's see. In here, looks a lot like it does when you go into disk management um, on your own computer. And where you can see the drive, which is right here, this is Toshiba drive, and it's full. You can see it's clearly full. And you can actually run a check right click on that and do a uh, check file system and sometimes that'll help if you have you know simple problem um, oddly enough this thing's full of movies and TV shows and stuff like that that I watch I've stored from my collection and I can run it on USB on the side of my TV and it plays just fine so uh, the drives working it, it, it is is there and you can, uh, I'll do this check file system, try to fix errors if found, start. And it'll do the same thing as it did in the command prompt. It'll run through a check disk and find sectors and so forth and repair them and hit finish. And yay, if it works for you, great. That's, that's fantastic. Um, but in this case, as you can see, there's still no bar. It's just defiant. It will not work.
So you may have had the same problem and it's frustrating, but want to get some files off of it, back it up or whatever. Well, here's another thing you can do. While you're in this Ease Us Partition Manager, you can look at the files. Just double click on it and open it up. And there are the files. It, it, it does let you see them. Um, you can't copy them from here. At least I don't think you can. Let's see. Yeah, so you can't even access the file. You just see them. But what's good about that is I have a folder. You can see the folders. There's a folder of movies. There's a folder of music. There's a folder TV. Those are the critical folders I'm interested in. So I know that the name of the folder is movies, music, and TV. And this at least will let you see, okay, here's what folders, what the names of the folders are that you have in there. And why is that important? show you. you. Go back here to your main uh, file interface or your, just your, your PC or anyone, anything. You can go into your documents folder. doesn't matter where you're at. Any folder that you open up any anywhere on your computer and up here in the corner of the address bar is always a little icon. If you just click that icon it highlights the address bar and then you can type in the drive letter which in this case is E and go colon backslash and type in the name of the file folder that you you have so TV will go TV and hit enter and boom there it is it opened up it opens up that folder you have access to everything in here, um, you know, if, if you want to copy any of the folders, I use VLC, so that's all the TV shows that are in that particular small folder or subfolder. Um, I can back it up. I can do whatever I want now with it. And uh, if I want to go into the movies folder, same thing. Just, just type in the drive and then the name of the folder. And music same thing just the name of the folder and voila you're back in so that's the way i did it that's the way i've been able to access it and lucky enough that's what's working for me so i hope that helps